Allow me to make my intentions clear. Jedi. We are here to help resolve the situation. For the Senator. For everyone. Step aside, Jedi. We cannot. You serve the Senate. No. We serve the people of this Republic. None shall defy me. Not even you, Master Jedi. Master! Corruption like yours oh, must God. be eradicated. No! Stop! Master, it's over. <laughs> I wonder if any meaningful change will come of this. Is that why you took action into your own hands? Your actions saved many lives today. Just thinking in the moment, Master. Well then, you're a much wiser man than I, Qui-Gon Jinn. Why are you concerning yourself with these questions? The Council gave us our instructions. Since we are not members of the Council, we cannot involve ourselves in local political skirmishes unless requested by the Jedi High Council or Senate. My friend, your devotion to rules is sometimes inspiring and sometimes maddening. It's obvious that he's hiding something. We should take this information back to the Council. Would you want Ketri to leave without finding out what happened to you? I would want her to follow protocol. For a Jedi to succumb to a surprise attack is rare. Unless that attack is from someone one would trust, like you. I will have the truth. Dooku, stand down. Jedi are lapdogs of the Senate. Their bidding always comes first. It's evident throughout the galaxy. Jedi claim peace but mostly keep law and order for the rich and powerful. Katri was a Jedi. She would have listened. Your ideology, while faulty, does have its points. I'm surprised to hear that from a Jedi. I don't condone your methods, but you had every right to protect your planet. I am told you will be presented with Master Catry's council seats. I will. Dooku, you and I both were together when the mission was assigned. I stuck to the mission. You decided to interfere in a way that led to a senator's death. I will speak to the council on your behalf. How kind of you, Master Jedi. Qui-Gon Jinn always had such an active imagination. As did you, Dooku. A quality valued less and less in these great halls. I encountered a highly skilled warrior, one obviously trained in the Jedi arts. And you believe it was a Sith Lord? Yes. I gather the Council was not eager to validate that conclusion. No, they were not, Master. I've been warning them about the coming darkness for years. Never to be taken seriously. A Sith Lord is not to be trifled with. And I will not be there to protect you, my old Padawan. You need not worry, Master. Obi-Wan fills that role now. He acquits himself quite well. Master Dooku, are you all right? They grow up so fast. Our students... The council is leaving for Naboo. The funeral is to be held there. I doubt I would be pleasant company. You hold them accountable. There 
is still a chance to make things right. I'm afraid. I know you are. I'm afraid it is too late. I want only to bring peace and order to the galaxy. Already so many have suffered for what you call order. Then let me give you peace, Master Yaddle. <laughs>